I'm here in Pikeville Central Park this weekend to attend a drug rally. Folks that are in attendance are both those who have suffered addiction and treatment center professionals. Numerous representatives from area clinics came together for the rally to discuss progress and new ideas as well as how to handle the problem as time goes on. So it's patient centered, it's individualized, um, but now we have all of these other off, like resources we can offer. Uh, we do IOP, we do uh, targeted case management, and coming from a person who was a counselor to being a program director, it is amazing to see just the amount of growth in the community and the area and the support from the local community has been fantastic. And we normally didn't have that before. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. The most recent polling from 2029 puts the number of treatment centers in Kentucky at 449, treating well over 28,000 clients. Laurie Marcellet has two years clean and sober and was a guest speaker at the rally. You know, I, I can relate to anybody who comes through treatment. If, if you've had a tooth pulled for pain pills, I can relate to you. If, if you've stayed up for weeks on meth, I can relate to you. If you've overdosed on heroin, I can relate to you. If you've been at the liquor store as soon as they opened, counting pennies for a shot of liquor, shaking the pieces, I can relate to you. As of today, Marcelette says possibly losing his family has gone from the verge of happening to in full repair. You know, and, uh, and, and I remember completing treatment time and time again, and, and, and my oldest son would ask me every single time I complete treatment, Dad, how long are you home for? And I'd be like, son, I'm I, Dad's home for good. And then I would make it until I did and end up breaking their hearts again. He, he's 15, he about lost all hope in me, but, but today it's Dad this and Dad that. He just told me a little bit ago, he, he said uh, at the beginning of school year, uh, that they do this thing at school, asking about role models and stuff. He said, but I never could put you down before, but I can today, Dad. Those on the front lines hope that this event and others like it planned for future dates will encourage those here to remember what it means to be a Kentuckian and keep in mind that united we stand. Reporting for Mountain Talk News, I'm Sheldon Lee Compton.